right there. Do you know how fire extinguisher works? Well, do you know the chemical properties? Well, I'm going to tell you anyways, Santa. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. You must be Bartholomew. Why, well, yes I am. Must be the guy who needs to know about fire extinguishers. Actually, I really just need to get back to my house. Come with me! Just come over here to this table. As you can see here, this fire extinguisher extinguishes trash, wood paper fires, liquid or grease fires, and even electrical fires, as well as suppressing the flame in the air. It also melts at a low temperature to form a layer of slag which excludes the gas and heat transfer and the fuel surface. This is good against Class A fires. Sir, do I really need to know this? Probably not, but I'm going to teach it to you anyways. I'm going to teach you that ammonium phosphate is a good base. Now that we've learned about the ammonium phosphate, we're going to learn about other types of fire extinguishers. Aha! Outside. So I decided we should conclude our experiments in here. <gasps> this type of fire extinguisher is called a BC sodium bicarbonate fire extinguisher. Its chemical equation looks a little something like this. The BC fire extinguisher is very much alike the ABC ammonium phosphate fire extinguisher, except this one is not effective against trash fires and wood fires, so if you're a crazy redneck, you shouldn't use this. Well, I hope you learned a lot about the sodium bicarbonate fire extinguisher. Yes, I did learn quite a bit about this type of fire extinguisher. Oh, oh no! Are you crazy? I almost burnt your house down! That reminds me, we've forgotten about your house. Well, now that you know enough about fire extinguishers, I could send you away. Goodbye!